Dallas. You may soon see electric transit buses around town. This comes after a push by the state to make the switch to reduce pollution. Eyewitness News reporter Katia Hall spoke with our local transportation company to see how they're reacting to this push to go green. Katia. Well, Dave Rochelle, Golden Empire Transit says bring it on. They already have started the process of making that transition to electric buses, and they hope to get their first one within the next couple of years. We'd like to be everybody's second car. And for some people, get buses are. But soon, the get fleet may look a little different. Our next purchase is clean buses. They're just quieter and they run smoothly and they're amazing. It's all to go green. We just want to be better and um, reduce the environmental footprint. And I think what we're going to see in 10 years, we're not going to recognize our transportation system um, compared to what we see today. Joseph Oldman is the director for the Cal Start San Joaquin Valley Clean Transportation Center. He says transit companies in the valley have made strides to stay up to date on the latest green technologies, especially since transit buses make up 80 percent of the valley's pollution. But going electric is not cheap. It's an extra couple hundred thousand dollars just for one bus. Because you have to purchase the battery as well and the battery is quite expensive and we have to change our routes because we have to make sure that they don't die on the road. There are grants available, but there is discussion going on right now in Sacramento about requiring transit agencies to move to zero emission buses sometime within the next four to seven years. Once it becomes a regulation, um, you're pretty much required to do it and the incentive funding often dries up. Which is why many transit companies like Get are trying to go green before they have to give up the green. And the new electric buses that they hope to get in the next couple of years are expected to have Wi-Fi on them as well. As always, we'll keep you updated on their progress. Reporting in studio, Katya Hall, Eyewitness News. Back to you.